Where both former President Donald Trump's adult sons took the stand today to testify in the civil fraud trial against their father. Prosecutors accused them of lying about the value of the Trump real estate uh, portfolio to get better loans and lower their taxes. Eric Trump swore under oath that he's never been involved in the finances of the business. His older brother, Donald Trump Jr., answered questions for a second day as well. He told reporters after his testimony that the trial is nothing but political persecution. I think it went uh, really well if we were actually dealing with logic and reason uh, the way business is conducted. But unfortunately, the attorney general has brought forth a case that is purely a political persecution. Before even having a day in court, I'm apparently guilty uh, of fraud for relying on my accountants to do, wait for it, accounting. The judge in the case has already ruled that former President Trump and his business did commit fraud. The trial is about what penalties he will pay. Former president, the former president himself is expected to testify next week. And joining us live here is Law 360 New York courts reporter Frank Runyon. You were in the courtroom today. What did you make of the testimony? And is the both sons appeared to say, I don't know. I didn't. I just signed the document. It was the accountant's job. Right. And I think that you're absolutely right that essentially, um, despite the fact that both Eric and Don Jr. are, you know, v near the very top and once their father left for the presidency at the top of the organization, they both said that they didn't have anything to do with the statements of financial condition, which are really at the center of the AG's case here. So um, I think Don Jr. sort of recapitulated what he said on the stand rather well. I mean, essentially, he said, I paid the accountants to do the accounting. Um, and uh, despite the fact that Eric, um, you know, was seen on several emails, uh, you know, fielding questions about this statement. Right. Talking uh, back and forth with the accountant about, well, it's, you know, <laughs> these numbers this and these numbers that. Right. But I mean, is, is that a standard practice? I mean, I guess my question is, mm -hmm. and maybe I'm asking you to take off your legal <laughs> expertise and put sure. on your business expertise, but does every CEO actually look at all the fine print before they sign the document? Yeah. So, I mean, that that's a really interesting question. Obviously, from a legal perspective, there are legal questions here. And that's what this is about. It's a civil fraud trial. And we're getting into uh, the details. And it, it did seem at, at times that both Eric and Don were tripped up on sort of uh, the finer details that were trying to be made by the attorney general here. Um, and that, you know, if you if you put your signature on the bottom of the page that says that, you know, you're responsible for the statements of financial Which condition. Which is what they did. That, yeah. And so that this is... That you are, is, in fact, legally responsible, and, even if you didn't read it all. And that is what the attorney general is saying. But what they're trying to do is uh, show that, like, look, we relied on our accounts, including our outside accountant mm -hmm. um, at Mazars, yeah. um, Donald Bender. So, you know, this this is, um, you know, sort of been a strategy for a long time, stretching back to the Trump Organization criminal fraud trial. Yeah. Wow. Um, so we are seeing we're seeing more of that on the stand, and we're expecting that to play out in the and next couple of days. And then, of course, we've got former President Donald Trump on the stand on, on Monday. Monday and his yeah. daughter potentially right after that, although she's trying, still trying to get out of it. Has an appeals court ruled? Uh, not yet, um, but we are expecting a ruling on that, and we'll have to uh, see what happens there. But, you know, I'll be in the courtroom every day. And important to say, they can't take the fifth. They can't get up there and say, well, they can take the fifth, but the judge can infer, huh, you're hiding something, maybe you're guilty. That's right. Which and you're so not supposed to do in a criminal trial. It's a double bind, yeah. right? I mean, if they say something that's incriminating, that can be used against them in a criminal proceeding. And if, uh, you know, if they stay silent on that or they invoke their Fifth Amendment, which nobody has done, by the way, um, at this point in the trial, um, then, uh, you know, there can be an adverse inference. Yeah. yeah. OK. All right. Frank Runyon, fascinating, interesting seat to have in, in that courtroom for the next few days. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.